congratulations on the hybrid kickoff getting passed. Now, obviously, a lot of work went into this, and the XFL guy, Sam Schwartzstein's not happy that he's not getting credit for it all. Where on, I know Sam. I know a lot of special teams coaches probably say, buddy, you took a kickoff practice drill and put it on the play. But oh. nonetheless, we got to a point where the kickoff is seemingly being saved. The only change from the last time we talked, seemingly, is that a touchback just kicked in the end zone instead of being at the 35, which is pretty punitive, is now moved to the 30. I immediately responded with, guys are still just going to choose to kick it in the end zone, give the ball at 30, but maybe not everybody. What are your thoughts on what got passed, and how do you feel about where the rule sits now versus where it might be a year from now? First thing I got to say is your graphic, this show's graphic about the kickoff is the best graphic I have ever seen. That baby dirty! dirty. That that graph, I mean, I can't tell you how many compliments people have gotten, or I've gotten, on your graphic. No, you put it together. You and Dirty. I didn't. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, listen, first of all, I appreciate you guys having me on. I appreciate your support for special teams. Come on. Uh, We talked about that last time, but uh, let's address that touchback thing real quick. You know, there was a few head coaches that thought the 35-yard line was too punitive. And if there was a situation in the game, maybe you're up by a couple scores or there's a game where you're lacking injuries and you don't have your core guys, there was the ability to kick the ball in the end zone for a touchback. That was the thought process. Got it. Don't, don't kill us because we can't don't potentially. Kill, and, and this is a one year. So if we go through the first year and maybe the start drive isn't what we thought, the return percentage isn't what we thought, we can, this is a starting point. We can always adjust that. And so that was a little bit of a, a you know, a concession. All good. I, me, I think it probably knocks off about 20%, 25% of the returns. Okay, so we're going to get more returns, though. We're still going to get more returns, you think? It's still much better than what we're, we're currently at. Hey, okay. Yeah, hey, hey. We did good, right? Win. So, I mean, if we had, a 21, we had a 21% return rate last year, if this knocks off 20 25%, I still think we'll be 50 60%. And, you know, we talked about this. There was 2,000 non-plays last year between the touchbacks. 13 Super Bowl, yeah. Yeah, between the touchbacks and the, and the fair catches, there was 2,062 non-plays. If we can get 50%, we're going to bring another 1,000 plays back in. So it's still, you know, it's to me, it's still a big win. Good for the game. Good for the game. Oh, yeah. Good for special teamers. Good for special teams coordinators. Have you guys already started scheming? You already started scheming how you're going to oh. abuse these rules? <laughs> Well, there's always those guys that want to say, okay, how can I get my way around these uh-huh. rules? You, know, no, you guys, special teams coaches. Yeah, like, literally, yeah. that's all special teams coordinators <laughs> are trying to do. How can I screw the other guy? Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, listen, I, there's, I, I think that's going to be one of the really cool things about it is to see how everyone plays it. Having two returners back, uh, the ability to have reverses and throwbacks. I heard you say that one time. But there is a lot of creativity, I think. There's a lot of options in this thing. I agree. And that was one of our main focuses. And, and again, I'm going to give a, a big shout-out to Big Sam because Sam, Sam got a lot of things right here with the XFL. I just think there was a lot of things. And he might have been handcuffed. But, like, the 10, yard, 10 guys flat across on, the, on one line in the return team, not a good idea. There's got to be different levels so you can have some creativity for scheme. We heard potentially tinkering to get three people back maybe. And there, and there was still some conversation about it in the room this week, uh, uh, yesterday. And so just the thought process was, again, year one, let's have 7-2-2. Two, two. If there's not a lot of injury data that those two guys that are off are getting injured more than the others, then there's the ability to move guys back. Okay, you've – and I, you might be like this all the time. I'm not around you day to day, although I have watched your come up in this entire thing. I didn't see you at Rhode Island, but. No. <laughs> the playing I days? I didn't, I didn't see you at Rhode Island, but, you know, Rutgers, Dolphins, now with the Saints. Feels like you've been very passionate about this. Yeah. And congrats on getting past. Thank yeah. I, but also, appreciate that. and I, I don't think this can get echoed enough. We were potentially going to lose the kickoff, right, if we didn't find something. And that is why I think all the special teams coordinators kind of came together and why you were so passionate about this. No question. I mean, you look at the play, and I said this earlier today, this was a dying play. And we feel like we've pumped life into it, revived this play. We're going to bring this thing back. I think there's a lot of, you know, things and factors about this play that maybe the fans aren't thinking about. You might see some of your favorite players back there as returners that maybe in the Um, old model people were afraid to put out there. You know, I had the Dolphins reporter ask me today, do you think they'll use Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell and Raheem oh, Mostert? Fourth quarter, why not? Yeah. Why, like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know? And, and, A-B and, old school. Well, because, yes. Well, A-B used to just oh, be a night. I mean, yeah, I mean they, you're kicking it through. You see those two. 30-yard yard line. You're yeah, taking see that, you. Can they bring yeah. it out of the end zone? Yes. So every ball's got to be downed. So if the ball's in the end zone, you can bring it out. Okay. So you actually see, might see, even though with the touchbacks at the 30, you might see a few more balls getting brought out of the end zone that maybe at the 35 that you didn't. So if a team is confident in their return and 
they think their opponent may be not as great in coverage. You may see a few more balls brought out of the end. How do you feel about your teamers? You guys got guys down there? Listen, the Saints have always done a great job. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, I, I, what I mean, oh I, I mean, I mean yeah. the Saints have always done a great job with roster construction. Ro- you know, we've always done a good – I thought they've always – there's always been core teamers. Yeah, there's been some teams, you know, that just paid at the very top and then said, uh, hey, punter and kicker, figure it out. <laughs> uh, I've seen a couple of those teams <laughs> operate in the past. Oh, yeah. It is much different whenever a GM will invest some money in a backup line linebacker, backup tight end, backup running back that can maybe run a little bit. That's a huge deal. Well, think about this. So, like, the last few years, there's been guys, there's been games where if you're going to Denver, for example, and you know they're going to kick touchbacks and you're going to kick touchbacks, why do you need player 47, 48 to be special teamers? Uh, You didn't. You can get a third quarterback if you need to or a running back, another weapon. Well, you know, and the offensive coach saying, we need this guy. Well, now all of a sudden those guys are going to play 12, 13, 14 core We're saving jobs. Yeah, go. You're saving jobs. You're a core player, and that's why the PA likes it. The PA loves this because it's more plays for them. It's more plays. It's more stats. Returners more valuable. Kicker, core players. AJ has a question for you. How how much thought have you put into, like, say, your kickoff cover team? Mm -hmm. Do you just put burners on there? They're going to run by those guys because you are so close? Do you put, like, how do you mix and match the body type? And kickers can't go past the 50? The kicker can't go past the 50 until the ball is touched. Got it. So oh. the, See, like I saw get, Reed already say, put me in. Kicker, yeah. You need the kicker yeah. to be a tackler. Yeah, though, well, right? well, listen, if you watch all the XFL plays and the, ki- the kicker's hitting the ball and if he hits a high, high time ball, like your old days, he's freaking flying down. He's a free hitter. Yes. We didn't want that. Well, why not? Oh, why not? Ridiculous. Hold on, because you guys got a small groupie. kicker. You got that yeah, is because you got a lot of groupie. Not, so not that he's not a dog Blake, groupie. He's he's has nothing to do with you, Blake. Oh, yeah. got nothing to do with oh, you. Oh, okay. The entire it NFL does. has got to get changed because Blake is not a tackler. You no, know he would. No, no, no. You know he no, would. There was actually a player. It was a player health thing. It was a player safety thing. Okay. So. 